hey guys what's up welcome to this tutorial it's Khezri here with you now this one is a bit more of a geeky sorta of tutorial but hopefully it's gonna be useful uh, in this one I'm gonna show you how to use the IK spline tag to control your splines basically now the way we normally control the points of our spline is by you know using a bit of espresso so let me show you the you know normal way that we do stuff there I'm gonna just go ahead and create a linear make sure you got the uh, snapping turn on and I'm gonna just go ahead and alt D to hide your axis and go ahead and create a very simple spline now this could be as complex as you want or as simple as you want in this one because it's a tutorial and want to make it simple and quick I'm just gonna go ahead with a very simple spline here now we have our spline and I'm gonna go ahead and create the uh, now the way what we want here is to control the point of the spline for example using nulls okay so we don't have to go through and uh, select these points and then go ahead and uh, alt D to get back your axis and for example move this we want just to have some nulls and control these guys uh, without having to go through the uh, point mode or you know especially for very complex stuff it's a very useful method that, and uh, you know a lot of Cinema 40 projects uh, needs to have your splines you know being controlled uh, in some way and this is the way that we possibly uh, uh, you know have been doing it and maybe IK spline is a better or uh, you know not that uh, good way but uh, definitely worth mentioning so uh, let me go ahead and apply an Expresso tag to the uh, spline actually before adding the Expresso tag I'm gonna just go ahead and create the nodes that I want to use uh, that I want to control the spline with so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select uh, create a null now the null has been created there I'm gonna go ahead and control drag snapping is turned on so uh, the null will be exactly where the point splines are and there we go we have our five nulls and if you want you can actually go ahead and rename them I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, stick with the naming convention that we have right now I'm gonna select all of these null and uh, just make sure you got just the nulls and change the to sphere or whatever you want okay now how we're gonna do that is let's go ahead and open up our express attack get the uh, spline go ahead and create a point node this is the original way that we do stuff so I'm gonna just do it very kinda quick you get your object node I'm gonna I wanna control the point position of this spline then I'm gonna go ahead and get an object list iterator lock it uh, select all the nodes and put it in the list okay and then I'm gonna get an object index node there and connect it to the instance and the next thing will be to go through and create an object node the object will be defined by the instances and we want this null to control the position of our splines so the index will be controlled by the index number of this null 0 1 2 3 4 and then the position will be controlled by this now this is a very simple expressor setup and now the nulls will be simply as you can see uh, control the spline and if I can select my spline here I can go ahead and actually uh, go ahead and uh, where is the object and change it to uh, this spline or cubic or whatever you want so now simply the nodes as you can see are uh, controlling the spline here now this is one way of doing it and another way is simply to go ahead and use the uh, uh, IK spline tag so I'm gonna go ahead and delete these nulls for the moment I'm gonna go ahead and actually first of all select these and what's happening to uh, this null here I'm trying to get it okay I'm just going to disable this expresso tag delete the expresso tag and go ahead and delete the nulls and the next thing is to go ahead and apply uh, using the IK spline now in order to do that first of all we need some joints because it's a character tag and it basically works with joints in this case 
So I'm going to go ahead, select my spline, go to your character tag and go to conversion and uh, use the spline to joints option. Now, as you can see, you're going to have a series of joints and ex they are exactly where your points are. And as I said, it could be a very simple spline like we have here or a very complex uh, spline and the joints will be exactly created and uh, aligned with the points of your spline. Okay. Now, uh, you need to select your first joint and go ahead and right click character tag and you got the IK spline tag. Now when you do that, you got a few tabs. The first thing you need to define is the spline that you want uh, you want to be controlled. So I'm going to go ahead and use my spline and then you got the end field where you should put your end, end joint here. And then uh, you go ahead and uh, add as many points as you have on your spline. In this case, we had four, five points. So I'm going to go ahead and add five points. And you can see the index number of those points are here. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. As you know, the index number uh, starts from 0 in Cinema 4D, not 1. And then you can go ahead and just click on Create. So five times. And as you can see, five null has been created. And you can simply use those null to control your uh, basically uh, spline points. So I'm going to just go ahead and select all of these points and change there. Um, let's go again to something like 20 centimeter. What the hell? 2000 centimeter. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and just hide the joints. You can get rid of the joints, I think, because uh, that will uh, make the IK spline tag useless. And simply now, your null are controlling your spline. There we go. Now, I don't know, very simple use. We can go ahead and create a, maybe a circle here. Go to something like maybe 20 centi centimeter and 30. And let's go ahead and create a sweep nerve and get that guy into the sweep nerves and simply use these nulls. Do you think? I think we have to make this guys a bit bigger. Now use this nulls to, as you can see, control your uh, spline very easily. So this is IK spline tag and hopefully it was useful. Thank you for watching and, uh, you know, like it, share it, uh, drop a comment if you think uh, it's a good way or not a very good way. And uh, hopefully it was a useful tutorial. It was Khaju with you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.